Hello friends. So today's video is going to be based on an amazing collection of responses I had to a poll on Instagram to celebrate my Instagram account reaching and going beyond the milestone of 8,000 followers, which frankly just blows my mind. I am beyond grateful to have such a wonderful community and I remember very much when I first started that Instagram thinking well if it helps one person it'll be worth it and to now be at a point where I'm talking about 8,000 people that just I don't even know words can't even touch it but I basically put out a poll and asked people for their recovery affirmations practical tips and advice and the responses I got were amazing, absolutely amazing. So many people from all over the world sharing little snippets of advice and tips and affirmations that have helped them in recovery. I did actually amalgamate everything and put it into a post which I've shared on Instagram. So if you'd like to check it out there, please do. But otherwise I'm going to share it here as well. So let's start with the advice. There is no one coming for you. You have to do it yourself right now. Don't get too wrapped up in other people's stories that you forget to write your own. Don't compare, don't just read and admire, but carve your path, do the work. Do the next right thing. Remember what you want your future to look like and be like. Do the next thing, irrespective of the noise in your head. Recovery is based on actions, not thoughts. Hold on to the fact that 100% recovery is possible and totally doable. Recognise the difference between commitment and motivation and know that you can take action without motivation. Be honest but compassionate with yourself. Know that it's normal and okay to eat all the time in recovery. Eat like you imagine recovered version of you would eat. Start today. Embody your activism. Hold on to your vision, not your view. Fear loves to complicate everything. Keep it as simple as possible. Eating disorder didn't happen overnight. So don't expect to recover overnight. It takes time. See the refeeding process as a debt you have to pay back to your body and your brain. Remove the judgment on everything, especially your progress, food, body and hunger. If you can sustain an eating disorder, you can do recovery. You have everything it takes within you. The only thing stopping you is a misguided fear response. And the only way to get past that misguided fear response is to choose to walk into the fear and do the thing anyway. Actively focus on all that you are gaining in recovery. Learning to differentiate between eating disorder and me. I have an eating disorder, but I am not my eating disorder. It does get easier. You don't believe it, but it will. Be consistent, one day at a time. And now for the practical tips. Ditch the watch, activity trackers, etc. and sit down. Stop weighing yourself and your food. Dump all the scales. Create an abundance mindset and action it. When the time is right, gradually reconnect with your body through gentle, fun-orientated movement. Repetition is key. Eat the foods that you want, the ones that are yummy to you. Action your permission to honour your extreme hunger. All the foods you think you don't like, try them again. You may be surprised. Always have snacks with you or within easy reach. Use restful distractions, like colouring, rock painting, word searches, jigsaws. Read Tabitha Farrar's book, Rehabilitate, Rewire, Recover. 
talk to someone you trust. Voice your struggles. Sharing is important. Stop buying safe foods and think, how is my next action going to impact my progress or future self? And finally, the affirmations. No one is coming to save me. I have to save myself. My body, my needs. Just do it. The only way to recover is to eat the food and stop the movement. Do it for little me. I don't do that shit anymore. My smallest self isn't my healthiest self. What would recovered me do? One day, one step, one now at a time. So that wraps up the advice, practical tips and affirmations that were shared on my poll in celebration of our community reaching 8,000 followers on Instagram. I really am so grateful to every single one of you who shared in there and also everyone and anyone who supports me, my channel, the podcast, this YouTube account, wherever, whatever. I really am super, super grateful and I hope that these words provide some comfort, some reassurance. This isn't just me, this is voices of people all over the world who are going through the journey that you are going through. You are not alone in this. Recovery can feel incredibly lonely at times and both eating disorder and fear love to create a sense of isolation. But you are not alone. There are people who are walking the path that is ahead of you, that you are on. There are people who are and have run point on this process for you. You are not alone in this. If you have any other practical tips, pieces of advice or affirmations, please do leave them in the comments below. I have no doubt that that would be a really valuable point and place for sharing for everybody else who is viewing this and who is in recovery. Once again, thank you. And I look forward to speaking to you next time.